Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down and you're comfortable and ready to relax. Everything is just right in your room. You've got your comfy PJs on. The light is just right. It's nice and warm and snuggly in bed. Try and be still and quiet as you listen to the story. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were rock climbing with Lily. They loved to go rock climbing with Lily. Lily was six, so they weren't rock climbing like giant, ginormous, really, really big mountains or anything. But they were just practicing rock climbing on a rock climbing wall. And it was a lot of fun. Cherry said to Lily, I love doing this with you, Lily. This is like one of my most, um, my most favorite things to do in the world. Me and you and Heidi and Vaya doing rock climbing. It's so much fun. You know what I'd like to do though one day? I'd like, don't, don't, don't you think about this sometimes. I'd like to uh, maybe climb on a rock, like a really big rock, like a really, really, really big rock, like a really big mountain kind of rock, like, you know, we always have fun doing our rock climbing wall and everything, but what if, what if one day we were climbing on a rock that was as big as like Mount Everest? Can you imagine? Can you imagine how cool it would be if me, you, and um, Heidi and Vaya went on a rock climbing expedition and we were traveling to almost like the top of the world on like a rock climbing expedition to the top of Mount Everest? How awesome would that be? That would be like the coolest thing ever, don't you think? Don't you think, Lily? Lily said, Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I think I'd really like that. But don't you think it would be scary going to the top of the mountain in the top of the world? Heidi said, One nice thing about being at the top of the world is you'll be able to see all the clouds from a completely different perspective. It'd be like you were climbing through the clouds. Cherry said, OMG! Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing! Can you imagine that, Lily? Can you imagine it? If we climbed that high, that we could possibly climb through the clouds? How cool is that? How awesome would that be? That would be absolutely amazing. Do you think we could do that one day? Do you think that me and you, Lily, and Vaya and Heidi will get good enough to one day climb through the clouds? Lily had an idea. I have some special friends that might be able to help us with that. Lily carried on. I've had my special friends, Lulu and Rainbow, which are puppies, but they're very tiny puppies. Very, 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 very tiny puppies. They're only as big as your thumbnail. They're that tiny. But they're magical puppies and they can fly. Maybe Lulu and Rainbow take us on a special journey and take us into the clouds take us to the top of Mount Everest said Lily Vaya said 
Ooh, me want to see your special magical puppies that are only as big as your thumb. Me thinks they would be super cute. Where is, where, where are Lulu? And where, where is Rainbow? Lily said, well, they're normally in my room. So we'll have to go to my room. And then... That's when probably Lulu and Rainbow will come out and say hello. And that's when we can talk to them about climbing Mount Everest. Everyone went back to Lily's house. They went to Lily's room and everyone sat really quiet and waited for Lulu and Rainbow to appear. It wasn't very long before Lulu and Rainbow appeared an OMG they were the cutest little puppies anyone has ever seen. Both of them were so sweet. The thumb-sized puppies Lulu and Rainbow shared with the cats and Lily that it had to be the right time of day. That time of day where the sun was going down and everything was going quiet in the world and the moon was going to come up was the most magical time of day. That was the time when they could all go flying. The cats were very excited. Cherry was super excited. <gasps> oh my gosh! How are we going to fly? Is it going to be like magical? Are we going to be able to fly like just by using our imaginations? Or are we going to be able... <gasps> Will I get wings? Do you guys have wings? Lulu, do you have wings? Rainbow, do you have wings? How do we fly? She went on and on and on with lots and lots of questions until it got to that special time of day when somehow, magically, it just happened. Like there was no tickle of their nose. There was no magical doorbell that rang. There was no wings that sprouted out of their bodies or anything like that. Nope, just all of a sudden, they were flying. Lily, Lulu, Rainbow, Heidi, Cherry, and Vea were flying. They were flying up towards the clouds. They were flying up high in the sky. Flying up through the clouds. Up to the top of the mountain, to the top of Mount Everest. It was the coolest, most exciting thing that any of them had ever done. Lulu and Rainbow announced that once they got to the top, they had something very special for all of them, waiting waiting. Cherry just couldn't stand it. She was just, oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, I just can't stand it. We're flying. We're going to the top of Mount Everest. Like the bestest rock climbing thing that anyone could ever possibly ever, 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 ever do in the world. We're flying. We're going to the top and there's a surprise. I just can't handle this. I need to take a break. I think I'm going to faint or something. When they got to the top, they all took a little break and sat down on the top of Mount Everest. It's very cold up there, snowy and icy. But the view was amazing. <gasps> Lily couldn't believe what all the clouds looked like from here. They were like big, giant marshmallows or big, giant balls of cotton wool, or big, giant balls of snow. It looked so pretty. Lulu and Rainbow announced that they had made something special. Are you ready? said the puppies. Cherry was bouncing up and down. Vea was bouncing up and down. Heidi, even Heidi, was bouncing up and down. 
They were having such an amazing time, they couldn't believe that anything else could possibly be happening up here. Until Lulu and Rainbow pointed out that they'd made an obstacle course, an obstacle course out of the clouds. No way, said Lily. No way, said Cherry. Obstacle courses? I absolutely love obstacle courses. The most things ever. I love how you can climb and then you can crawl and then you can run and then you can bounce and then you can do all sorts of stuff on an obstacle course. Oh, OMG, this is the best. Lulu and Rainbow said, follow us with their tiny little voices because they were tiny little puppies. Everyone got behind the puppies, the magical little thumb-sized puppies, and they followed. The obstacle course that they made was absolutely unbelievable. Some of the clouds that they had to go through, they had to climb through. Some of the clouds they could bounce on. Some of the clouds they had to go round and round and round them like corkscrews and go over them and under them and over them and under them like they were tunnels. Some of the clouds were even bumper cars. Yes, bumper cars. They split up into groups of two and got into a cloud and then they bumped into each other like bumper cars and the clouds would poof like big clouds of smoke. It was the bestest obstacle course you could ever imagine in the entire world. Everyone was very happy. They were up there playing in the cloud obstacle course for the longest time. And then, all of a sudden, just like magic, they were back in Lily's room. Lulu and Rainbow had gone somewhere. Who knows where? It had gone past that time of day where it was the magical time where they felt comfortable coming out. So Lily, Heidi, Cherry and Vea all snuggled down into bed and talked about how amazing their day was. How much fun it was jumping around on the clouds. Cherry's favourite part. Oh, MG, I loved it when the clouds were bumper cars and we were bumping into each other. Oh my gosh, Lily, your face was so funny. Your, your, your eyes were really big and your, your, your smile was really, really, really big and you were laughing and it was so much fun. And I, and I liked, I liked the cloud that was like a corkscrew that you had to go around and over and under and over and under and over and under and it felt like a bit, a bit like a roller coaster. Oh, gee, it was so much fun. Vea said, me had the bestest time. Me never thought that rock climbing and flying with puppies would have been ever, ever this much fun. Me wants to do that again. Next time we come over, Lily, can, can Lulu and Rainbow be a part of our hangout together and we can go and do something else with the tiny little magical puppies? Would that be okay? Lily said that that would definitely be okay since all of them got along and everyone loved her little rainbow and her little Lulu just as much as she did. They talked and talked and talked and started to get very tired. Their eyes got heavy, but they still talked and talked and talked. And then it got to the point where they couldn't talk anymore. They were all talked out. It was time for bed. Time to sleep and relax but they'd had so much fun Lily fell asleep first she just couldn't handle any more fun she needed to sleep and rest Freya fell asleep Heidi fell asleep and Cherry laid with her eyes open for a while She loved flying. She wondered if she could one day possibly be a magical puppy, as big as a thumbnail. She wouldn't mind being a Lulu or a rainbow. 
they were awesome after all. And then eventually, Cherry closed her eyes and let her body start to relax. The little paws felt super heavy and tired. All the bouncing on the clouds, jumping through the clouds, around the clouds, under the clouds, dancing on top of Mount Everest. All of it was just too much for her tiny little paws that were now like heavy, heavy weights. Her body relaxed. Her head got super heavy. And she finally fell to sleep. What an amazing day. They all had sweet, sweet dreams.